Hey, here's the highly requested final update video of my Nightmare Camper. If you're not in the loop, I bought this in March 2018 and it had a ton of hidden problems ranging from water damage to mechanical issues. I posted some videos of my repairs, so there's a link to my Camper Videos playlist in the description if you want to check those out. So first of all, I sealed the roof with RV roof seal tape and Dicor RV roof sealant. I still keep it under the tarp for peace of mind, to preserve my work, and to keep the roof clean of debris and green algae buildup. It's a massive pain to clean the roof, and it's really sketchy up there when it's wet. My feet actually slipped out from under me and I started sliding down that sloped area. I grabbed onto a roof vent, but if I would have fallen off the front, it would not have been a good time. But anyway, I pushed the tarp off to the side a little bit for the video, but it's 20 degrees out here, so I'm obviously not taking the tarp all the way off. So another thing I did was relocate the leveling jacks to there and there. They used to be mounted right here on each side, and they just stuck out too far when they were fully raced. I also removed the generator, took it apart, cleaned it up, re-animal proofed the box, and reinstalled the generator. I also replaced all these cam locks all around the camper. There are other things I did, but I've already posted videos about those, so let's go inside. Just kidding. So that is the camper for the front kitchen area. I used laminate floor. Cost me 30 bucks. It was on clearance. Under that, I put down some underlay. I got off the internet. It gives the floor a nicer sound when you walk on it. For this rear area, I just used a vinyl roll. It cost me about $98, and I did the trim work around it. And for the bathroom, I used the vinyl stick-on tile. The trim is kind of color matched to everything, and the vinyl roll material didn't reach all the way back. So I just used some sheet metal and some trim and filled that part in with the sheet metal and I think that looks pretty good. Everything works inside of this camper except that one stove burner. I don't know why that won't light. I do have the heater on, just to take the edge off. The heater works really good in maybe 28 degrees and up. Right now it's less than that. It's just too much, too much space for it. Not enough insulation. I also made this panel to cover the holes that I cut in there. The generator box is behind there and there's actually a lot of room behind there and I was gonna make extra storage. I was gonna make that a door, but I decided to just, just cover it back up. And the only thing I would do differently is I would put Luan under the 
vinyl floor because there are some areas where you can see some lines where the pieces of plywood meet. Well, let's check out this time lapse. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was entertaining and it showed everything you wanted to see for those asking about the update. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this if you're not subscribed already. And if you are subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you've noticed that you can now enjoy most of my new videos in 4K.